All right, boys, here we go. We're at the main event. Max Holloway taking on Ilya Deporia. This fight's gonna be an absolute banger. I think somebody gets stopped. We're gonna find out right now, baby. Oh! Get out of there, Max! Get out of there! Max, get out! Shit! All right, boys, here we go. UFC 308, the co-main event. Robert Whitaker taking on Hamzat Shemaev. Woo, it's about to be a bigger five round fight. Let's get it. Bobby Banger, Banger alert. Round one, here we go. Shemaev is super tall. There's that shot. That's the thing I'm worried about. All right here, he's got that two on one. Splitting the legs out, keeping them along. He's gonna go for the neck. See, that's one thing I will respect about Hamza is that he just, he takes a fight where he needs to, which is on the ground. He doesn't stand outside and try to bang or anything like that. He just goes and shoots and gets it right there. Not, not a body triangle, but he's wrapping his legs around Robert Whitaker to keep him down and hold his weight there. And ha Hamza's uh, grappling is really, really high level. We saw the grappling exchange and a grappling match between, uh, it wasn't a match. Oh, hey, look at Whitaker. Hey, looks, shoots right back in. It's another takedown. Two on one right there. That two on one is very dangerous. Oi. He's waiting. He's waiting for him to pop the head up. Look at the transitions. Those transitions are beautiful. <laughs> Hasabula. Maverick Lowe's. Hasabula. Yeah, Hasabula. Oi. He tapped. Already? I think he broke his jaw. Wow. Why did he tap so fast? Wow, I did not think he was gonna tap him that fast. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, he probably broke his jaw, I bet. Damn. Yeah, but sometimes like when you get uh like this, yeah. I, I it's here and it gets compressed. I'd rather see him fight DDP yeah, than Sean does. Strickland. I'd rather see Ham Hamzat fight DDP. I think that makes a better fight. Wow, crazy. All right, boys, here we go. We're at the main event. Max Holloway taking on Ilya Deporia. Now, this fight's gonna be an absolute banger. It's gonna be an interesting fight. Um, I think somebody gets stopped. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out right now, baby. Ilya Deporia's gotta get to that sweet spot. He's gotta get there. All right, here we go. <laughs> you see how he gets super close and doesn't even throw? He gets close and doesn't throw. Oh, shit. Oi! Oi! Get out of there, yeah. He's gotta move out of there. That's that sweet spot he was, he's looking for. There's XY movement. There, down, there, down. Nice body kick by, nice knee from Max in the middle. Nice, one, two, come back in and there. Nice. Oh, shit! Oi! Don't know if it was a slip or it was a, a drop. You think it was a slip? I think it's a slip. That thinks it's a slip. Whoo, first round. It's very hard to give who I have. We don't know if that's a slip. We're gonna do slow motion, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, it was a slip. It was a slip, yep. Okay, here we go. It's a great fight. Round two. There it is. He's, he's getting closer. Keep moving, Max. Noise. Noise. Keep moving, Max. Don't stand there. Keep moving. Keep moving. He's getting closer. That's where he wants. Look, he's getting closer. He's closer. There's that, that XY moving. Please, Jesus. Oh, beautiful shot from Max. Beautiful jab. Oy. Great round for the blessed one. She. Round three. Here we go. Yep, he's just trying to get to that sweet spot. We. Oi! Oi! That's a sweet spot. Get out of there, Max. Get out of there. Get out of there. Max, get out. Get out. Get out. Run, run. Shit. Yes, he's got to get out of there. Because he's our friend. Got to run. Fuck! 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 Oh! God damn! Fuck! That's the sweet spot that he looks for, guys. He will take, he will put himself in the fire to get off that onslaught. Once he gets you there, it's all she fucking wrote. So he'll take three rounds to get there. But once he gets there, he's going to win that exchange. And that's what happened. He slowly waits. He slowly waits. The kicks, the push kicks, all stuff. He's, he'll eat it. He'll eat it. And that's what he does. He waits to get there, and then he's going to unload because he knows he can win that battle, and it's not one punch. He pop, 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 pop. He throws the combinations, but fucking A. He's fucking good, man. Fuck. Jesus.
Nothing hurts worse when you get dropped like that. Like your body just fucking just goes. Not even breathing hard. Damn. That, but see, here's the thing people gotta understand is you gotta be ready to fucking fight that fire. Yeah. If you can't fight that fire, that's not his, that's his son. It's not Hasbula. Stupid. Good job, Max. Great fucking fight, Max. Uh, he's fucking good, man. All right, boys. Absolutely ama amazing main event. Like I said, I knew someone was getting knocked the fuck out. So we'll see you guys in the studio. Boom. We're all done with USC 308, Ilya Deporia taking on Max Holloway and Ilya Deporia. I, I knew someone was going to get knocked out. It was either going to be Max or it was going to be Ilya Deporia. And Ilya Deporia was able to knock out Max Holloway. But let's go down to the fight card. Let's go ahead and talk about Bullet. Bullet is one of the most dynamic strikers in the division. He ends up knocking out Homeboy with a sidekick to keep the distance. The bladed stance says a wah! Boom, sidekick. And then he does a double spinning, spinning back fist. Typically, you don't see that. Typically... You know, you throw the spinning back fist, you either always shoot your shot. The guy's out of range. He's out of the void. You whew, do a uh, helicopter 360 and you miss. But he threw a one block and came back the other way and wah -wah, knocked him out. And he keeps his O. Oh, he still stays undefeated. A lot of fighters who are undefeated kept their O's tonight. Usually it's somebody's O's that got to go. But they all kept their O. Now let's move on to the next fight. Michael Man, Uncle Live taking on Alexander Rakic. Now, this fight was very interesting because I had, I felt that Uncle Live was going to win the fight, but I don't think he is the guy to dethrone Alex Pajeda. Reason why is because I feel like Alex Pajeda is going to, you, you never know, right? When you have a guy who's uh, super good, who's very strategic about how he goes about the fight and doesn't really expose himself, he didn't really wrestle at all. I mean, he did anti wrestling because Rakic tried to take the fight down to the grappling exchange and wrestling but he defended it but he never did a shot he never really overcommitted. but it's kind of hard to overcommit because when you're fighting somebody who's just using the the space and keeping the void and always circling left and right you can't get the opportunity to get to your sweet spot to let your hands go or even try anything but i'm shocked that he never wrestled now do i think magomed uncle live deserves a title shot yes 1000 percent at the end of the day it's a sport i understand it wasn't the most exciting fight and it was a pretty it, it, it was it was a lackluster fight i'm not gonna say boring it's very lackluster and very strategic game plan but for the merit of how long he's been winning in the division, he deserves a title shot. As for excitement, I'm not excited to see the fight just because it, it was a lackluster fight. You know, who's going to make that fight exciting is going to be Alex Pajeda. So uh, he's the one I want to see in that division to get an opportunity to fight for a title. But if, you know, John George Stipe retire after they fight, then we could potentially see Pajeda versus Tom Aspinall. So it's a very interesting thing. I was really hoping that Uncle Live was going to go out there and make a statement, finish him, and you know be able to set up a mega fight in the light heavyweight division. But we didn't get that. We got Uncle Live winning the fight, a, a unanimous decision, and it is what it is. But boys, we have price picks going on, and we did pretty well in price picks. We went three and four. I will always go less, especially when you're fighting somebody who's always looking for the knockout. But don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, we took an L, but we had a good time taking that L because we made the right picks at the right place, which is price picks. Make sure you guys go to your app store, download price picks. And when you do that, make sure you use my promo code MIGHTY. They got a cool promotion going on right now. All you got to do is play Five dollars, and you're gonna win fifty dollars. No matter what happens in the fight or the NFL game or the NBA game, whatever it is, you're gonna win. Now let's move on to the co-main event: Hamza taking on Robert Whitaker. Now the biggest thing about this fight is one of the things I love about Hamza is that he takes the fight directly where he wants it, right? And in the past, you would see him gas out, and you can clearly see he came out and spoke openly about his last team didn't give him opportunity to rest. They were always putting him in the gym and just working and working and working him. As you get older, you find out less is more and more is less. And tonight, we saw that. He didn't get tired. He went out there, didn't throw any strikes. He shot in a double A takedown. Robert Whitaker dropped down, started to anti-wrestle, try to, you know, get back to his feet. But he does a good job of sinking his hips back and putting one hook in and having the one uh, his right leg out where he's not all over the body and holding like a backpack. He keeps one leg out where he can push forward or 
push and suck uh, his opponent back. The exchanges that they had on a round were really good. Bobby Knuckles almost got out, but uh, Shamaya pulled him back down and he had his back. And then once Whitaker almost had him off, he went to a mount. And the finish was very interesting. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of, you can choke somebody out by, you know, by have my hands here and if you have, and you're compressing against my neck, all you gotta do is cut off the blood flow to my brain. And I think it's not even uh, much pounds of pressure you put on the side of your neck. Hamzad, he gets it and he wraps up around his neck. It looked like his neck, but you see his jaws caught and you see him compress and turn. It was more of a uh, jaw crunch and Whitaker tapped super fast. And we just got a picture from the producer, Rob Whitaker's uh jaws broken it's it's broken we have it right here and that's a dangerous thing that's not the dangerous thing it's the interesting thing about when you do a rear neck rear neck choke everybody's trying to get underneath your neck but if you could wrap somebody's jaw up and just compress you will break their jaw think about this your jaw is right here if somebody wraps their bicep and their arm around there you could break somebody's jaw and that's pretty much what happened to rob whitaker and that's why he tapped so fast now let's look at the landscape of the middleweight division Right now, the word on the street is that it's DDP versus Sean Strickland. I don't think that's the fight we need to make. I think we need to make the fight DDP versus Hamzat. Because the reason why is you look at uh, Sean Strickland's last couple fights. Those fights were lackluster. He kept his Philly Shell style. He walked him out. Yeah, it was DDP versus uh, Paulo Costa. Those were his last two fights. He kept the Philly Shell style and walked across. We know if we get DDP versus Hamzat, Hamzat's uh, injury-free. He's hot right now. I think he's a bigger a bigger name than Sean Strickland because his fighting style, he takes a fight directly to his opponents. And you have DDP who finished Izzy Adesanya. He beat Sean Strickland. He's also beat Robert Whitaker. He finished Robert Whitaker. I think that's the fight to make. You don't worry about Sean Strickland. He'll stay there. Nothing's going to change with Sean Strickland. I think you capture a lightning in a bottle. You have a guy who's undefeated, Hamza Shemaev, taking on DDP Drickus Duplessis, I think that's the fight to make in the middleweight division. Don't worry about Sean Strickland. They can put Sean Strickland with, you know, somebody else, put him with Bullet or whatever, and that would be a great fight. But I feel like there is more of a storyline with Hamzat Shemaev because if Hamzat Shemaev can beat DDP, then you have Hamzat Shemaev taking on... Um, Sean Strickland, Hamzat Shemaev taking on all these guys. So I think that's the fight to make. DDP versus Hamzat Shemaev. Now, let's go to the main event. Max Holloway taking on Ilya the El Matador Tapuria. Now, I'm a big fan of both these guys, especially Ilya Tapuria and Max Holloway because he's a friend of the show. I'm, a, I'm his friend. We talk, and I, I visit him in Hawaii, hung out with his, his family, his son. We're swimming. He made sick of it. see <laughs> turtles in the ocean and dolphins. But this is the fight game, and people... Uh, do get knocked out and they do take losses and max holloway has always been a respect uh, a respectful uh athlete champion when he wins he wins when he loses he loses he's always been respectful now let's look at illa deporia illa deporia is a new generation of the champion he is the youngest champion in the ufc right now and i knew someone was getting knocked out the reason why is because illa deporia fights with his his feet and his hips he looks for that sweet spot when you fight somebody who's looking for that sweet spot you have to run away from that sweet spot for 25 minutes or hopefully you can hurt him. Max Holloway typically does not wrestle. He does not grapple when he fights. Now, you're taking away that element of mixed martial arts where you can take the game to a different different place. If someone was going to shoot in this fight, we knew it would be Ilya Deporia, and that's what Ilya Deporia did the very first round. Nothing comes of it. And I was like, you know what? This is a good thing for Max because Ilya Deporia shot. You know, it's going to take some energy away from Ilya Deporia and nothing came of that shot. And when I look at Ilya Deporia, I feel that if he truly wanted to, he could probably make 135 because he's not a very big, you know, 145er. But sometimes it's better for an athlete to stay at that natural weight where he's like, hey, I walk around 155, 157. You know, it's a little weight cut. I'm shredded. I can keep my power for five rounds. I can keep my cardio for five rounds. I'll stay at 145. And obviously he has the power. You don't want to see him go to 170 because you guys, you get, you guys got... You have guys at 170 that come down from like, you know, 195, 185, whatever it may be. But he did a good job. 
uh, staying in his shell. Each time Max throw that high kick, he never ran out to reach to grab it. He stays here, the X blocker we talked about, if you watch the breakdowns. When he will get close to Max Holloway, he will get on his X, Y, his, his head movement, moving down. Max was throwing the front kick. He was throwing the lead knee to try to get him, but Ilya Deporia is boxing so damn good that he kept the void at a nice distance where none of those teeps or uh, knees up the middle would ever get him when he's doing his X, Y movement. Why does he do the X, Y movement? John Jones asked me this. The reason why he does is because Ilya Deporia knows where he needs to be in order to knock his opponent out and he's always looking for that sweet spot so he'll get there and wait and then Max was Max doing a good job hit him with the jab hit him with the jab and, and Max would do one one two and then sometimes he would throw the left hook and Max would hit him with the two so Ilya Deporia knows he's going to have to take fire in order to land that big mega shot that's what he's looking for he's hunting for that sweet spot once he got to that sweet spot after he hit max with that right hand because max exited in front of Ilya deporia and set it to the left hook side he exited to the right of the void and Ilya deporia caught with the right hand and rocked him you see Ilya deporia he runs to the sweet spot and they start exchanging that's what Ilya wants same thing with uh alex volkanovsky same thing with jay herbert right Ilya deporia knows he's going to get maybe hit a little bit but he is betting on his posture when he's in the fire, and he's also betting on his power is going to knock you up before he gets knocked out. And then Ilya Deporia lands that left hook clean in that home position, follows up, and lands the hammer fist on Max Holloway, and that's what seals the deal for Ilya Deporia. And he defends his belt against one of the most dangerous guys in that division. Now, what's next for Max Holloway? Now, it's very interesting because Max is in his uh, purgatory. He says he go to 155 and fight there and, and, and keep his body a lot healthier. I like him at 155. It's not like he's a smaller guy. He's 5'11". He's pretty tall, but he does have the T-Rex arms. So it'll be interesting to see what Max Holloway does next in his uh, career. But as always, I'm a big fan of Max. Always going to love that man. Max, bless Holloway. Baddest motherfucker of all time. One of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Now, let's look at the El Matador Ilya Deporia. Now, I, honestly, I think this guy's probably number two, number three, number one. I mean... I'll probably put him over John. I'm not gonna put him over John Jones, but I'll, I'll, he's probably top five pound for pound right now. He's so good because he knows what he needs to do, and he knows where he needs to be in the fight. He can wrestle, he can grapple, and he also can knock people out. He has that power at 145. And the next person that's in line that he said is Alex Volkanovski. You know what? Fine, let's do it again. Let's do Alex Volkanovski versus Ilya Deporia. I'm assuming he's gonna knock out Alex Volkanovski just because Alex Volkanovski is gonna have to run the whole entire time where I try to out-wrestle him or I'll kick him. And Ilya Deporia is going to look for that spot. He's going to look for it, right? Unless you're, unless you're ready to bang with that fire, be ready to get potentially knocked out again. Or he's got to fight uh, Diego Lopez. Once again, Diego Lopez, great grappler, very fast hands. And Ilya Deporia is going to look for that spot. And you're going to have to fight him with the clinch. You're going to have to fight him with the wrestle. My son goes, hey, would you be Ilya Deporia? I was like, fuck no. He's too big and he knows the spot he needs to be. If I can't if I can't get him out of his sweet spot, I'm going to have to run for 25 minutes or I'm going to have to try to out-wrestle him. And he's also 20 pounds bigger than me. So I, I don't think it, it's a bad matchup when you have somebody who looks for that spot. And that might, be, that might be me being humble, but I'm not too afraid. I'm not afraid to admit when I see somebody who's dangerous. I was like, that would be a very, very, very hard fight. Now, I'm a big fan of Ilya Deporia. That's always the hardest thing when you have two guys that you like and they're about to fight each other. You're always, you don't know who's going to win or who's going to, but I knew someone's going to get knocked the fuck out. I knew this fight was not going to decision. And how did I know that? Because the, the, Ilya Deporia looks for that sweet spot and Max Holloway is going to try to knock him out in the last 10 seconds. Now, let us get back to Ilya Deporia. What an amazing athlete. What an amazing champion. Congrats to El Matador. Ilya Deporia, you earn it. You deserve it. You knocked out. You did something that nobody's been able to do in mixed martial arts history, which is knock out Max Holloway. So I'm a big fan. I don't, I don't see anybody being Ilya Deporia in a very, very long time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this, uh, this live instant reaction of UFC 308, Ilya Deporia taking on Max Holloway. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're, we're, we're constantly putting out bangers and putting out great stuff. I would love to get Ilya Deporia on the Mighty Cast. I would not do it over Zoom. I would fly to wherever he is, train with them to get that X and Y movement and how he, just to pick his brain on the athlete level. Like, dude, like, you're shorter, you're the shorter athlete, but you're always seeking this 
this this position. You know, I want I want to pick his brain, and I'm also gonna go to uh, Hawaii one day and train with Max and have him again on the Mighty Cast. So, boys, make sure you guys come back here on Monday. We're gonna be doing the Void breakdown, Ilu Deporia, how he does such a good job with that X Y movement avoiding the shots from max and getting to that sweet spot that he's always looking for in all of his fights so make sure you guys come here on monday we'll drop the uh, the void video subscribe like comment and we'll see you guys at the next video